every Thursday at 6.15 on Goliath Radio. When Asma Edwards, retired city clerk, former city commissioner, city of Daytona Beach. The Truth with Gwen Asma Edwards on Goliath Radio. treat others as you want to be treated. 
And when you do that, you know, you give love, and love comes back, you know. You give whatever, it comes back to you. Whatever you give, it could be, if you give hatred, hatred comes back Amen. on you. Praise God. Ah, so try to be positive in what you see and what you do and what you hear, you know. Uh, everything that has a negative spin on it, you know something? You can really find a silver lining in a dark cloud, and you can put a positive spin on it. Just like there are people who are unemployed, there are a lot of people who are taking advantage of this opportunity to actually get training, additional training. Uh, they got some income coming in and unemployment. But the other thing that they're doing too is there's some perhaps entrepreneurial ideas that they've had you know, in the back of their minds, ideas of things that really could work if they just had the time to do it. And now they have the time, now they have the opportunity, now there are other things that are available for them as well. So there's that silver lining for a lot of folks really. Uh, in terms of unemployment, and I know if you know you're concerned about food getting on the table and some other stuff, there are people too who are getting their unemployment. There are people who are also working two, three, many jobs, uh, but somehow in the midnight hour they're burning the night oil, still working on that idea that they've had for years, and they know it's going to pan out, you know, eventually. So, so you don't give up. You don't give up hope. You just keep holding on and keep doing what it is that you have to do and that you need to do and try to squeeze in what you want to do too while you're going through whatever it is that you're going through because there is light at the end of the tunnel. I heard someone talk um, just the other day and they said, guess what? They said the light at the end of the tunnel, there is no light. That light has been put out. Maybe that was something on the news. I'm not oh. sure. Uh, but there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Um, Sometimes you got to look hard for it, but it is there, okay? Um, we do want to uh, ensure that you patronize our sponsor, and our sponsor is Herbert Thompson Funeral Home. And you know, when people think of death, they think really negatively about that. But the positive spin on death is that, uh, which I had to realize even when my mom passed, is that you got to die here before you can go on to the other place. And if you died in Christ, you know, that other place is heaven. <laughs> but you can't get there, you know. You can't be like Enoch where the Lord just swoops you up and takes you, you know. Uh, the Word says you've got to. Uh, it's accounted unto every man to die once. Now, women, we're included in that man, general, generic term, okay. Uh, so you got to die once. And if you want to get to heaven, that's what you got to do. So if you're in Christ, you know, eliminate the fear, eliminate the doubt, and just trust in Him, okay. Last, that's the end of the sermon for tonight, I think. <laughs> After all the Spirit says otherwise, we'll keep talking. But uh, but it is so good to have you guys here and, and, and know that in terms of this sponsor, Herbert Thompson Funeral Home, uh, he is and his service is available, his family service. They've been in business for over 65 years, you know, more than a lifetime. Uh, it's a business, family business that's been handed down from generation to generation. And um, they treat you like family. I know that personally. He's very good friends with, uh, with my husband, Larry Edwards, and, and he and his wife have become very good friends of mine as well. Uh, their children, wonderful children, just wonderful family, uh, wonderful siblings, um, just a totally great family. And, you know, sometimes people can kind of get caught up in themselves, stuck on themselves type thing. That uh, was never allowed to happen in that family by his parents, and, and neither does he do it, nor does he allow his kids to do it either. So everybody's kind of grounded and, uh, and know that they're there for a purpose. And, you know, whatever work you do, that work truly can be your ministry if, if you have a, have a passion for it. And that's their ministry. Their ministry is really and truly making that transition from, from death to life. Praise God. Uh, a memorable one for the family and uh, one in which they find comfort, one in which they're able to really uh, make that transition and make that move to prepare for um, the fact that their loved one is no longer with them. But will be. Will be seen again. If you live right, if you pray right, if you do all of those right things, that they die in Christ, you will see them again. Amen. See, I said I was done with that, but here we go again. Uh, but I truly believe that, and I, I just know it to be the case, that, um, that God is able. So, do, do, do patronize Herbert Thompson Funeral Home for all of your funeral service needs, and uh, they will treat you right. They will do it in what they do in a very reasonable way, 
in a quality way and uh, again treating you like family and letting you know that you're not alone that someone is there to work with you and work for you amen 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 so do patronize her